All right, so with this video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of adding and subtracting of decimals, but I am gonna show you guys something because I think it's really important. When you're looking at something like this, my brain, when it comes to looking at stuff like this, when it comes to decimals, I don't really like to see it written in a like a horizontal way. I prefer to write this in a vertical way. So I'm gonna just rewrite this same problem. And I think it's really important that people realize that like sometimes when they're looking at stuff, they don't always see it the right way and it might look different to them. So just rewrite it in a way that's comfortable for you to read when you're writing it. This is a little bit better for me. I like to write these vertically, but again, you do you. And then when you're adding, you just add as normal. So three and eight is going to be 11. So we're gonna put the one right here. Now our decimals are lined up here. So we're gonna put that decimal right there and we're gonna carry the other one up to the top to the second line. And now we're gonna add that together. So one plus two is three, plus the other three is six. So my answer here for this one, 6.1. Now let's take a look over here at this one. Again, I prefer to have it written vertically. So I'm gonna do 4.5. We wanna make sure that when we are subtracting or adding any kind of decimals, that we always line up those decimals the way that they are. Now notice that there is no number here to fill this in, so I'm gonna put a zero here. Now what we're gonna do is we can't subtract zero minus five, so we're gonna borrow from the five, that's gonna become a four, and now we're gonna do 10 minus five, which is five, and then four minus seven we can't do again, so we're gonna borrow from that again, from here. 14 minus seven is seven, the decimal's right there, and now I can do three minus one and get two, so my answer for this is 2.75. If you want more questions like these, you can find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at You Want Algebra. All these are going to be located in the Are You Ready for Middle School Math.